We're at a Holiday Inn Express. So the breakfast buffet there is where they have the cereal where you turn the knob and like four pieces fall out. It's like how you feed a cat for a long weekend, you know? Like, That's enough. Uh, they had batter and syrup. And so you pour the, but they had the waffle iron where you make it yourself. So you pour the batter on the waffle iron, you shut it, you turn it over, it locks, it cooks for two minutes, you turn it over, you open it, half the waffle comes off, half stays forever. <laughs> that's how you eat a waffle. So I'm with my buddy of mine that's my age. So we go through, he's in front of me, not really talking or anything, just going through. He gets to it, it's batter and syrup, they're in clear containers. They're not labeled, but they're in clear containers. He gets the syrup and starts pouring it on the wall for him. And I'm not even stopping him, because he's not doing it where he's going, I don't, I've never done that. He's doing it where we're probably going to try it after. I mean, he's just like, we're like, dude, I can't wait to see what this guy's making. Like, he might know something that I don't know. He shuts it, turns it over, it cooks. He's like looking at us, we're like, I mean, the whole line's like, yeah, what is that going to be? And it makes black smoke is what it makes. Just, I mean, dark black smoke. Just starts filling the lobby. The manager comes over. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, I guess I poured the wrong one. These are not labeled. And the guy's like, they're in clear containers. Do you not know the difference of batter and syrup? And he's like, I bet it happens all the time. He goes, I've worked here my whole life and I've never seen this. So they threw the wall fire and they just throw it away. That's what they have to do. Just throw it away. It's over. And now there's no waffle. I mean, we went from all about to get a waffle to it's upside down in a trash can. And then he just turns and looks, and it's just a line of people with that little foam plate. And just everybody's sad. I just hear someone in the back go like, I set my alarm for this. I mean, two guys didn't have shoes on. They go, I ran down with no shoes in that elevator. I thought I was going to miss it. 